evening and welcome to Vespers. For the next three weeks in the midst of this Advent Christmas season, I'm going to share some of the things I've written about Christmas over the years. Um, they come from real life events. And the first one is entitled, Share the Joy. It was a cold December night. The thermometer was registering a temperature somewhere in the teens and the wind was howling like tundra wolves on the prowl. A boy of about eight years of age was returning from his granny's bedroom with a fistful of pennies when he heard music. Quickly he peered into the living room of the old farmhouse, but the black and white television set was off and silent. He turned to investigate the dining room, but the old Victrola with a stack of 78s on the spindle just sat there, motionless and soundless. In that moment, his mother opened the front door and the music became louder. Spinning around, she said, Quick, go get Granny. There's a truck full of cowers here from the church. Racing back upstairs, he made a 180-degree turn in .02 seconds. Ran a gazelle speed the length of the upstairs hallway, slid on his thigh into Granny's bedroom beside her bed, jumped to his feet and said, Quick, Granny, come with me. Christmas carolers, Christmas carolers. They did not make the return trip to the bottom of the stairs as rapidly as he had ascended. It takes much longer to lead a nearly blind 80-something-year-old lady down a flight of stairs. She stood in the doorway with tears flowing down her wrinkled, smiling face. She could not see them, but she knew who they were, those joyful carolers. About 30 people from her church had traveled on the back of a hay-filled open truck over 20 miles in below freezing weather just to sing carols for her. They sang, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room in heaven and nature sing. And as they sang, something happened. Something silent. Something wonderful. Something profound happened way down deep in the heart of an eight-year-old boy. He looked up at that great big truck into the faces filled with joy and discovered why his little old granny loved the church so much. They sang. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. And in that moment, his blue eyes were directed heavenward. Indeed, the stars seemed to be winking and smiling as he heard the melody from the earthlings floating sweetly across the front yard. It was absolutely a night of wonder, love, and joy. Later that evening, as he tucked his granny into bed and placed a kiss upon her forehead, the wonder of Christmas was communicated again, silently, tenderly, yes, Emmanuel. So as long as I live, I will never forget that night. No pageant, no cantata, no live manger scene, no Christmas special, polished and perfected, has ever equaled the joy of that night. So let's share the joy. Heavenly Father, enable us to find venues and ways and means and times and places and people with whom we can share the joy, the joy of your birth, the joy of our salvation. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next week.